Hello everyone, my name is James, I'm an acupuncturist and practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine. In this series I'll be showing you how to perform basic acupressure massage as a way to alleviate common health problems. Acupressure is based on a model of medicine known as traditional Chinese medicine or TCM. This obviously originated in China about 5,000 years ago, it's believed. Um, there's written records of this and also archaeological evidence. Um, it started off in China and then migrated through Southeast Asia into the Middle East and into Europe um, through the Silk Route, they believe. So, um, it's used very, very commonly in China and in Asian countries as just part of maintaining good health and longevity. And so, how does acupressure work? Well, it's believed that putting pressure on certain points, the acupuncture points, um, close to the site of pain or away from the site of pain can help to release endorphins and other neurotransmitters from the nerves. So these points tend to be where the nerves are located and what you do is just put pressure onto these points and it's meant to release endorphins um, which block pain signals from reaching the brain. It can also help release trigger points and tension in the muscles and tendons which help you know ease up back pain and shoulder pain. For example. A few points to remember with acupressure is that you want to apply firm gentle pressure usually with your thumb or your index finger. So what I like to do is just press, this is herb you large intestine before, um, which we'll talk about later, it's a very important point, but I just like to press firm pressure and you know when you've got the right point because it's tender and they're slightly painful, you just want to press it until you get that tenderness or some people say it's a heat or a dull ache. So just keep on pressing that. I'm massaging it um, in a circular motion or you can just press and hold. So it's a good idea to use something like tiger balm, olive oil is another one, um, or something like deep heat, um, just to help lubricate the points and just um, you know to help open up the points um, and just add to the effects of acupressure. It can also help just to have that bit of lubrication so, um, you know, make it a bit easier for yourself. So I actually, my favourite is Tiger Bar, um, the white version, which you can get from, like I said, Boots or Sainsbury's. This is the red one, but they're both pretty good. And you just put a sliver on your finger, so this is what it looks like, I don't know if you can see. It's very pungent, but you just need a tiny amount. You put it on your finger and thumb, and just press these points. You don't want to press too hard, so you don't want to cause a bruise or use your fingernail to break the skin. So that's definitely not what you want to do. You just want a firm, gentle pressure. If you have very superficial veins and arteries, so you can see them just underneath the skin, you want to avoid pressing on that. So if there's an acupressure point located where you have an artery, just press it to the side. So you're avoiding that blood vessel and just pressing a few millimetres to the side. That's all you need to do. Avoid any delicate areas like open wounds or the eyeballs. You don't want to press them. Don't strain yourself when doing these points. Often it can cause pain in the joints and the hands if you're pressing too hard. So what I like to use is just the end of a wooden spoon or end of a ballpoint pen and that just puts much less pressure on the hands and on the joints of the fingers. If you're finding that the acupressure is making the pain worse, it's a good idea to stop or do it more gently. So use your common sense and just maybe release the pressure or don't do it as frequently. You can also try doing distal points. So as I will mention, large intestine 4 on the hand is a good distal point for general pain relief. There are certain points to avoid if you are pregnant, um, but during the videos I'll point them out if they come up. Um, apart from that, it's very, very safe and easy to use and a great way to self-manage. Okay, so that's the end of the acupressure introduction. Look at the other videos, try them at home, and let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye!